Hi folks, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. I'm really excited about this video today because this is going to be a mini series within my series of deck comparison videos. And this is the first one where we look at decks that live on my reading table. So um, I have my camera focused here on, on the right side of my reading desk and we're going to be looking in, in this cubby here. So what I have here... Of least note, but I will show it briefly, is just a, a deck of playing cards. Um, it is old, it is used, it is well stained, <laughs> and it is, you know, there's very little snap left in this. Um, this is not what we are here for, so that will go back in there. Um, but the two decks that we will be looking at today are both by Ryan Edward. So let me... These two decks, so the Playing Marseille and the Maybe Lenormand. Um, this is going to be a bit different of a comparison video because I am now comparing a <laughs> Marseille Tarot deck versus a Lenormand deck, but I wanted to do this as a big tribute to one of my very most favorite deck creators and two decks, like I said, that absolutely live on my reading table. So let's get the camera flipped around and take a look. All right, so here are the two decks here. I'm going to first take a look at the uh, Playing Marseille deck. I've had this in my collection a whole lot longer and I've used it considerably more. So we're going to just take a look. Um, both of the boxes are, you know, exactly the same size in all dimensions. They are really excellent, excellent little storage boxes that also holds the guidebook. Um, and these are both done by uh, US Games. So uh, let's take a look at the Playing Marseille. So it has a little magnetic clasp hold like this. And here is the guidebook that it comes with. Um, now, Ryan is a is a card dancer in his own right. So he, he knows what he's talking about when it comes to reading the cards. So it's really nice, you know, that uh, <laughs> you don't always see that these days, that it's an actual reader creating the decks. Um, sometimes we get more of an artistic perspective. But this is a very well-written guidebook that is certainly worth the read. Um, and then in, in the deck is like this, it's split into half. Um, I have it a little bit higher on one side, so I've got all it. It's all already in order here. So uh, here we have the majors and we have the spades and or the swords. Not sure the best way to show these, but I want to look at all of the aces anyway just quickly to show this because this is this is one of the coolest decks in my collection i this there's a reason that this lives on my reading table so here's our, our pile of majors <laughs> ah these are i don't know that this is going to work so well but here is what we have for suits so as you can see it's called the playing marseille so what he has done here is merged the playing card deck with the marseille tarot it's absolutely genius i don't think this has been ever done before um, if it has, someone let me know, but I'm pretty sure that he is the first creator to do this. So I do want to start, we're going to just flip through the majors here first um, and take a look at the cards. Let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so um, we have our, our very, you know, quite standard um, traditional trumps here. And they're done in, you know, our, our traditional Marseille style. I love the color palette chosen here. They're, you know, it's quite basic color palette, um, but it's it's very powerful. It's just beautiful. Also, I love that Justice has has her third eye there open and <laughs> watching you it's amazing i just i adore i adore this deck i adore the artwork in it um the simplicity of the color palette the i don't even know if you'd call this simplicity of artwork because it is it is so dynamic and it just oh, it's absolutely stunning i mean the the attitude on the faces of these uh, characters that we see it's amazing Okay, 
so there's a look at our majors. So the difference between a playing card deck and a and a tarot deck. Well, then we have the majors to start with, um, but then also in the addition of the court cards. So maybe I'll do this. We'll go through kind of the our, our masculine suits here first. And just show these kind of side by side. Um, but as you can see here, like both of these have the hand sticking out of the cloud, and then we have both the spade and the sword, and the um, on the side we have the club and the wand. So it's just, it's absolutely genius. So again, we see here like the swords continue, um, and then we have our, our spades and our clubs. And not all of them have the, um, like, you know, here we have the sword here, but the sword is not here. So there are these beautiful embellishments that go out throughout the cards. But if you are someone who reads playing cards and also reads Marseille, I don't like to tell people they need things, but like <laughs> this, this deck is phenomenal. It is so unique. And our tens. So, like I said, um, we've got the, the jacks in our playing card deck, but we also in the tarot, of course, have the, the uh, knights and the pages. So they are, are both present here. I mean, just like, look at this. This is one of my favorite cards in this deck. I mean, that that is just fantastic. Oh, I love the expression on his face. Amazing. So here we have our knights, our beautiful queens, and our kings. Beautiful. Okay, now let's take a look at our feminine suit. So we have the cups. And we have our cups and hearts, and then we have coins and diamonds. So um, one thing I did want to point out that is really excellent, if you're someone who reads reversed cards, um, especially like with playing card decks, <laughs> they're not always distinguishable um, upright from reversed. But he's done an excellent job here that all of the diamonds have this little pattern on the bottom right corner. So you can tell if you're someone who incorporates upright and reversed readings or cards in your readings, um, you'll be able to to tell the difference. I love this. Look at that two of cups. Oh, it's just amazing. <laughs> Kitty. And so again, here we have our pages, which this is very, very cool because we have our page of cups, um, but also carrying like this big, <laughs> I don't know, axe sort of thing. So it's just, uh, these cards are so, so dynamic. They are just incredible. Our queens and our kings. So uh, just a quick note on the size of these cards. They are like certainly on the smaller side. Uh, I mean, here you have a just a standard inexpensive uh, playing card deck and you can see the cards are just a hair taller and a little bit thinner. So they're certainly on the smaller side of cards, um, about the size of a standard deck of playing cards. Oh, and the back. I don't know if I showed that yet. This is what the back looks like. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's just a quick look at, um, this is, let me see, can I, boop, come back out. Anyway, um, the playing Marseille, which is, like I said, it's just the, the epitome of amazing in terms of blending a playing card deck and a Marseille tarot deck. So now let's take a look at the Baby Lenormand. So here we have the Maybe Lenormand deck. This was my very first deck of Lenormand cards. Um, and I'm not gonna pretend I am an expert on Lenormand. In fact, I'm very new <laughs> new to the system, but I love my playing Marseille deck so much that this was um, just like the logical next step when I was looking for a Lenormand deck. So again, um, it's got a really nice guidebook. It goes through all of the cards, it's, um, color, and then there's a little explanation at the back of the grand tableau there um, and then space for the notes at the back 
Um, yeah, again, a really, really well-written guidebook and uh, certainly worth worth uh, <laughs> worth taking a look through. So, uh, similar again, same box style where we have the cards um, with these excellent little ribbons to be able to get them out, cut in half. There we go. So, um, traditional Lenormand decks have 36 cards. Um, but what he has done is expanded this to 52 cards. Um, so as we as we go through, you'll see the, the cards that he's added to the end of the deck. Zoom it in so we can have a look at the cards. There we go. Zoom that out just a bit. There we go. Again, I just love his, his style of artwork. It's very simplistic, but again, so, so dynamic. Very, um, I guess, simple color palette. It's just beautiful. So that is the end of your traditional set of Lenormand cards. So here are the, the additional cards that he has added. Okay, so this is 37, is the pig. Here we go. Then there's the lion. Hands. The rose. Uh, B Bacchus or Bacchus, however you... Uh, pronounce that, essentially revelry. <laughs> uh, here we have rapiers, the little um, sword sort of things that are used for battling and dueling. <laughs> and cats. I believe this is the metal. Sick bed. Okay, so that one denotes illness. That one, I believe, is just the eye. Yeah. Flame. Cupid. I'm just following along in the book here, make sure I'm <laughs> saying these additional cards correctly. Um, lightning. Just looks like a broken mirror. That is a broken mirror. Excellent. <laughs> the train. And the safe. So um, that is a, a quick look at all of the cards in that deck. So yeah, I mean this isn't too long of a of a flip through video. Let's boop this back up. Um, but I did just want to yeah, I mean pop on here quickly. Like I said, this is kind of the first one in my series of decks that never leave my reading table. So again, these are um, the decks by Ryan Edward. First one is the Playing Marseille deck, and me maybe Lenormand. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to say. Um, so, in in a traditional playing card deck, um, actually, that's not <laughs> the only suit that I can't talk about this one with. So, uh, in a traditional playing card deck, let me grab this old little one here. Yeah, so here you have like half of the hearts go one way, half of them go the other way. So that's why I was saying it's hard to tell um, upright versus reversed cards if you so choose to read those. Um, but in his deck, he's done a beautiful job. All the hearts are facing one direction. So the only one that is symmetrical up to down, that's why I said the uh, diamonds wouldn't work for this, 
um, is, is, are the diamond cards. And like I said, they've got that little, um, marking the little design there on the bottom right corner. So you can know the difference. Uh, I know some readers will <laughs> quite literally put a little dot or a little arrow, or they will mark their cards, um, on some of the Marseille style decks or pip decks where you can't tell the up, upside down versus right side up, upright or reversed cards. Um, but you don't have to have to worry about marking up your, your deck. So again, yeah, this was just a quick, um, like I said, it's not really a comparison. It's more just a showcase for my absolute love and admiration for Ryan Edwards decks. They are both absolutely fantastic. I think if you are a Marseille reader or a playing card reader, this is just, it's so unique. It's such an incredible addition to your collection. It's something you'll use. That's the fun part about this particular series. It's decks that never leave my reading table, so they're very, very useful. And uh, yeah, I hope you like the additional cards to the Baby Lenormand. I really did. Like I said, this is my first Lenormand deck, and I think that there were some themes that I don't know that they're necessarily missing in the traditional pack, but it's nice to see them in the cards that he's included. So anyways, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll be back in a couple weeks for my next installment of my deck comparison videos. Great. Um, have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you then.